She just wanted a stick yeah. with a string on it and <laughs> another stick. And I'm here I'm like, well, the handle is this way. <laughs> Close this door? Yeah. yeah. You want to get those? Yep. This is a wood that we're going to use to heat the boat in Greenland. Cool, dude. <laughs> got a lot of chunks. Perfect. Yeah? Yeah, those are beautiful. Okay. Awesome. If it's real light like that, yeah. most of the mojo's gone. Oh Skip yeah. It. Yep. It's the good stuff. Go for the heavy stuff. Yeah. Small stuff is nice for getting it started too. Firewood with mojo. Firewood with mojo. <laughs> a little something left. That's nice. This is lilac. Then feel how heavy that is. That's heavy. Oh, yeah. it's beautiful. That's got a lot of mojo. <laughs> Three years going, we still haven't had to buy wood. Three years. Heating the whole house all winter long. Yep. In freezing cold Gloucester. Yep. Well, you can tell by the end grain that it's got mojo. Yeah. <laughs> so a little bit of purple. Yep. That's the mojo. That's, that's the <laughs> serious mojo. I think that's more than enough. I think that's perfect. You can always cut more. Yep. All right. Cool. Oosh. This just showed up in the tent one day. Showed up. <laughs> wow. It's a bunch of old tools. Really, really old. Yeah, all these fit into like a bit brace. Wow. So somebody thought I would want them, but I. But you I don't want to use a bit brace. <laughs> somebody might. Crap shows up at your house. <laughs> and it's up to you to get rid of it. It seems like a never ending battle just to get rid of stuff. I know. Oh my god. No, I wish I had the same problem with money. <laughs> All right, Ruski? Yeah. This can't be done without beer. <laughs> no. One for you. Yes, yes. You made a bow? I made it with Pilar. You made a bow with your with your daughter. Yeah, she you... wanted a bow and arrow. She calls it a bone arrow. A bone arrow. <laughs> and I was like, wow. yeah, I got a piece of bent oak we could do. It's like the treehouse. And I went all over the top. Yeah. And she started to lose interest because I was in here grinding away. Oh and no. She was she was kind of like shot it a couple times and she just wanted a stick. Yeah. With a string on it <laughs> and another stick. And I'm here I'm like, well, the handle is this way. <laughs> There's a cutout for the arrow so that you can. She's like. Ooh. She lost interest. Oh no. I know. So that hangs as a testament to my <laughs> something or other. It's beautiful. Know. It's a really beautiful bow. Yeah. And you made arrows too. Well, we didn't get that far. I was saying it's too hard to do the feathers. You got to have the feathers oh, on it. Yeah. So. I was like, we'll just go buy some like practice arrows at the archery store yep. and use it with that. Uh, but then she just, I was lying around and she didn't pick it up. So I was like, what am I bothering for? And oh, you know, no. Maybe when she gets a little older. Or some boy in the neighborhood will see it and be like, whoa. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> That's what call an all-nighter. Wow. It's got serious mojo. Got serious mojo. <laughs> Did you 
you're I not going to insulate your boat? Yeah, I don't feel it's necessary to insulate if you're only heating a small area. In North Carolina, it got so hot. We spent like three and a half months on the heart. We went from freezing cold to like the worst heat wave imaginable. It was so freaking hot. We were in this dusty boat yard. I couldn't believe it. I didn't think we'd need an air conditioner at first, but then we got hit by this heat that literally turned the interior of the boat into an oven. Where'd you put the AC? I borrowed an air conditioner and I mounted it right in the companionway, yeah. like a household air conditioner. We yeah. had an electric cord coming up from the shore power on the ground up and plugging into the air conditioner. And we had that thing going full blast and it wasn't, it wasn't anywhere near enough. But you know where the companionway is and the dinette is? We took blankets and we, we tacked them up to the ceiling, making this tent around the dinette and the companionway. So it's like what, just a little, 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 tiny, little space of cold that was still too hot. Yeah, we got like a month of heat here, maybe? Yep. What I would recommend to you is a bow saw. What's that? It's like, a, you know, it's, you've seen it's got a really jagged blade that's replaceable, and then it's oh. just a piece of pipe, and it stows easily. Yep. Sometimes they come with a sleeve that you can put it in. People use it for camping and uh, cutting up firewood when you're camping because that jigsaw is all right, but if you can just get ashore and find some fallen wood or sometimes driftwood is too salty to burn effectively. Oh, yeah, yeah you really. experiment with that though because yeah. maybe it'll work. We found driftwood in Block Island ashore and it was dry. Yeah. It was really light mm -hmm. and it was all like white, like it was bleached from the sun. It lit like instantly and it actually oh. lasted for a while. Oh, good. Yeah, see, there you go. It driftwood everywhere. So yeah. if you just had a bow saw <laughs> to mm -hmm. cut it up, it takes no power. Yep. You don't have to have it be hooked up to AC. Or yeah. There sure is a lot of bird activity here in the inner harbor of Gloucester. See these little guys dive bombing into the water. I guess they're grabbing fish. And they sure do make a lot of racket. Okay, down there. And I've got all of this wood from Joss in these big containers. And hopefully it's not going to rain before I get back to the boat so we can get the wood on board and have uh, probably enough wood to keep the boat for a good month. Pretty psyched. Some of the fishing fleet out of Gloucester. Look at the size of those drums of netting. They're uh, wood, oh my God. wood with a... <laughs> Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wood with a lot of mojo, as Joff put it. What does that mean? It means it will burn long. Let's get in and get a fire going. I'm cool. You're cold? I have the heater on. You're kidding me. I'm not kidding you. It's not cold. You're high. I'm not. It's cold. I don't know how we're going to get tie you off? Did you bring me cider? Yeah, I did. Did you really? I got two cider. Oh. That's what you asked for, yeah. Oh my god, that's so exciting! <laughs> <laughs> Where are we gonna put all of this? That was a small one, that was easy. <laughs> okay, let's do this without going in the water. That would be good. Heavy. Ugh. It looks it. You want me to hook it up to the halyard and just lift it on board? Um. Well, that might be a good idea. <sighs> I don't feel very cold at all. Mm -hmm. 
but then again, I'm wearing a sweater. <laughs> I didn't know that I was coming outside. Uh huh. Punk. Okay. Oh, these pieces of wood are really heavy. Yeah. I hope this doesn't collapse in the bucket. I don't think it will. I don't think it will. <laughs> it's about to go over the rail and then it'll fly towards the center. Oh my God. Got, it? Got it? Nice! Yeah. How cool is that? That was cool! <laughs> okay, everything out of the ding. Don't fall backwards. So, some of this wood has this kind of grain. You said the, the wood with this kind of thing has lots of mojo in it. Define mojo, please. Um, uh, burning, burning length. Bucket full of warmth there. Yep. What do you figure? Maybe like if we use like three logs a night, maybe have a month. Yeah. Remember when I installed this stove? Yes. How much fun that was? Oh, yes. <laughs> that was so much fun. That's solid. <laughs> it's one of the wood lockers. So I think it's it's cool, you know? It's like wherever we go, wherever we see wood or stuff that we can burn, we can just bring it back to the boat and replenish the wood supply. You see pallets that are being thrown out, wood pallets that are being thrown out. Driftwood. Driftwood. Peat moss. Peat moss. Mm. What is peat moss? It's moss that's peaty. Can you burn it? Yeah. And the boat is such a small space that this little wood burning stove, you know, once it gets going, it completely heats us. It may mean it's, it really heats this cabin, makes it really comfy. It's so much cheaper than burning diesel or propane uh, for Especially a whole if long... Especially it's free. Yeah. Uh, and it's not, not only is it free, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Out to sea. I wonder how many crew she has and how long she stays out for. All of my knowledge comes from the movies. Yeah. But I don't think there are that many people on board. No. Well, in the Perfect Storm movie, what they have like a dozen of board? Yeah. No? Yeah? like six. Six. Something like that. 
wonder what those six aboard are doing right now. These people are so tiny compared to that big drum on the stern. She just turned her lights on. All those big bright night lights. Going out to get some fish. Having your yummy fish dinner. That's where it came from. Have a glass here. 